a lot of times on the channel we take a look at accounts from players who are super powerful but that means most of the time they're not free to play and a lot of you guys ask me to cover really powerful free to play players here in rise of kingdoms so today we're going to cover the account of another rise of kingdoms youtuber who goes by the name of wout gaming in his most recent kvk he broke over a billion kill points and if i'm looking at the numbers correctly i think he got about half of his kill points in a single kvk and he still has resources and speed ups left over but I think the part that a lot of you guys will find interesting is that he is full infantry main and he only uses infantry commanders. He is an infantry purist on this account. And we're going to take a look at his commanders a little bit later, but he has some really interesting choices that have gotten him a lot of kills in a really short period of time. But first what's going on guys. Cheers. Just as a reminder, about 69% of you guys are not subscribed. So go ahead and click that button and drop a thumbs up while you're down there. Okay. Let's take a look at Wout gaming's account. Now you'll have to forgive me for the quality here for just a second we had to use discord file transfer so the video is pretty compressed but don't worry we have screenshots later that look a little bit better but you can see that he's running saint peter's basilica which gives you 10 percent infantry defense and as i said before he is an infantry purist and a lot of you guys might be wondering why he's not using twilight falls we'll go over that in just a second but i just wanted to start the video by proving that he's free to play because a lot of times when i cover free to play accounts i get a lot of people in the comment section they don't actually understand how you can know if an account is free to play or not so first of all you can see the minamoto logo in the top right corner so that means that this player has not gotten their first purchase bonus so if he taps on that you'll see that the first recharge is when you get Minamoto okay so no matter what you buy you will get Minamoto if you make a purchase so here he's showing us that he doesn't have Minamoto obviously which means he's never made a purchase he's never purchased the growth fund he's never purchased any of the supply depots 30 day gem supply whatever he even still has his limit 50 percent off on that 30 day gem supply from never buying it here we go over the special resource bundle and of course the double gems are all still intact for all of his shop items so here we can see for sure 100 that this account for wout gaming is 100 free to play but if you needed more proof here you can see all of the accounts that he runs in a single screenshot this is free to play player behavior okay now of course I know that there are some players who are also big spenders who have a lot of accounts but this is really the type of behavior that you would see from a free to play player by the way his link to his YouTube channel is going to be down below if you're interested in free to play infantry content definitely go ahead and subscribe to his channel we're just going to be focusing on the Wout gaming account so that's the one right here that I just showed you is completely free to play jumping back to the video that he had sent me you can see a couple of things first of all he has VIP 14 as a free to play player which is really nice as he scrolls through his inventory here he's going to show off the 30 day gem supply 50 percent off which we already knew that he had and here we can see his commander breakdown and the first thing you'll notice is a fully expertise gorgo that's right ladies and gentlemen free to play player he instantly maxed gorgo the moment he got his hands on her which i think is really impressive we're gonna go over that in just a second but here you can see he's also expertise sargon cpo liu che and we're gonna take a look at his guan yu in just a second okay actually it doesn't show up in the video but it is a five four two three guan so he really got wrecked with the skill distribution there he did clarify that he is waiting for skill resets for his guan yu but as you know for free to play players uh skill resets are very very rare I think you typically only get like one or two per year as a free-to-play player if you really pay attention to all the events but regardless we can also see that his Alexander the Great is actually expertise and his Charles Martel is not yet expertise so that means he's gotten over a billion kill points without a perfectly good Guan Yu he's also gotten about 500 million kill points from just infantry commanders in his last KVK okay let's take a look at the equipment that he has on these commanders here and you can see that he actually has some really solid gear we have the infantry set piece for the helmet the weapon the gloves and the boots which means he has the four piece set bonus here on his gorgo which is super important because she moves super slow in the open field obviously when she's paired with liu che you do get the march speed from liu che but gorgo herself has none so that 10 percent bonus is going to be really nice all of them actually have the iconic crystal inside which is perfect he still has the karak's humility for the legs and honestly i think that's completely fine i think that unless you get a talent on the eternal light legs or you have multiple blueprints of the eternal light to start getting those iconic tiers up i don't really think the eternal light moves the needle that much for the legs at all so if there were going to be a last piece that you replace it would probably be the legs here for infantry now you can see he has the greatest glory and also the ring of doom now this is something that he pointed out he mentioned that he wasn't super happy with the greatest glory on gorgo because he does lose out on a lot of potential rage 
that he could be getting from a horn of fury but he did say if he runs greatest glory with gorgo and she does get swarmed then first of all he's gonna get a good trade second of all with rage compensation he's gonna get a bunch of rage anyway from being swarmed and third of all that's when the greatest glory does shine obviously because you're getting hit by multiple targets so there is pros and cons to running this for sure but if you guys were wondering of course he runs gorgo primary with liu che secondary and his second army is actually sargon primary with cpo prime secondary now this is also a pretty common and pretty popular infantry pairing that a lot of players use if of course they do have the sargon and have all his skills unlocked to be the primary and here you can see the gear on his sargon he has the kvk helmet really solid defense stats there he has everything else completely legendary except for the blue shield which again is a great piece to leave you don't necessarily need the set piece weapon here or even the hammer of the sun and moon i mean i think now that the hammer of sun and moon's initial craft is a little bit cheaper than it used to be i think that you know the barrier to entry is a little bit lower for free to play players which is nice but at the end of the day the talented blue shield is really solid and you can still get away with it especially if the rest of your kit is fully legendary here you can see he is making good use of the crystal key blueprints that he's getting he gets eight percent defense from the sacred grips and and also from Shio's return down here and of course he is using the hope cloak and the eternal night so literally all this all of these are from crystal keys which is really nice he's making good use of those blueprints and I think that's that's going to help him a lot as this new iconic tier system is is starting to be a barrier for a lot of players now he does have the horn of fury and he has the ring of doom here on the sargon i think that's a perfect choice i think as much as i haven't shown that much love to sargon recently i think that sargon cpo does output a lot of damage and especially if you stick to that same target so having horn and ring is going to be perfect here and you really do want to pop your active skill as fast as possible with sargon so you are going to need that horn for sure and then moving on to his third and final army this is an army that he said that he basically never really uses anymore and you can see that by the gear this definitely is his weakest march now he does have the horn and the ring here so if he really wanted to he could move this horn over to the gorgo and you know kind of just bench the the guan yu basically but he runs guan yu primary with alexander the great secondary and given the state of his guan yu i do think that he is probably running these three armies in the way that i would run them personally if his guan yu was 5155 or expertise or something like that i would tell him to do guan cpo instead of sargon cpo but because his guan yu doesn't have the greatest skill can configuration I think it makes a lot of sense that he's doing what he's doing but he runs Guan Yu with the Alex and again this this has a lot of infantry attack in the helmet and in the chest piece and also Guan of course has a lot of infantry attack Alex has a lot of infantry attack so I would say this army is definitely his most squishy of all them and he told me before that really from a majority of his kills in this last KVK it just came from the Gorgo with his Liu Che like that army with this gear performed so well for him that he didn't need to even run this army at all and he barely had to run his sargon cpo like this single army absolutely popped off for him and got a vast majority of his kills and of course he did break the 30 million kill achievement in his last kvk which i know a lot of people struggle with and the fact that gorgo liu che did like 90 percent of the heavy lifting for him is actually insane for just a single army for free to play which is good news because you can see here that he expertise gorgo literally one minute after he unlocked her and he expertise liu che literally one minute after he unlocked him so he instant maxed both of these commanders completely blind that's how much of an infantry purist he is it doesn't even matter he's just instantly maxing them and as it turns out gorgo liu che probably one of the best if not the best infantry marches that we've seen in rise of kingdoms in actually years so his bet paid off really really well and you can see here the kill points for both of these is just insane for a single kvk for a single army moving on to the formations and armaments here for his two main armaments armies we have the arch formation on Gorgo Liu Che which makes a lot of sense obviously this gives you five percent more normal damage which is going to boost your smite damage now a lot of people actually asked me in my Alexander the Great video why I used the skill damage formation on my Liu Che and that's because I just don't have armaments for arch like that they're just so utterly garbage that it, it's literally better for me to use the wrong formation with really good stats than it is to use the right formation with garbage stats but anyway here you can see he has 4.6 percent infantry attack 10.5 percent infantry defense 3.4 percent infantry health he has 2.7 percent 
all damage here which is really nice then we have to take a look at the inscriptions he's got onslaught which gives you 1.5 percent more normal damage he has primed which gives him five percent more march speed when he's over 50 percent which is really nice that means when his march is fresh he's going to be moving at full speed and typically you retreat under 50 percent anyway so that's pretty good he also has wary on there which gives him five percent more march speed outside of alliance territory which again really good for the gorgo liuche and he has invasive which means he takes two and a half percent less counter attack damage from all types which is really nice moving on to his wedge formation armaments on his sargon you can see here that these are really nice he has 11.1 percent infantry attack 3.9% infantry defense and 4.9% infantry health, but he has seven inscriptions here. He has a breaker, which says whenever the troop launches any basic attack, it has a 10% chance to reduce the target's defense by 15% for three seconds. He has bellicose. Whenever the wheel troop launches any type of basic attack, it has a 10% chance to gain 5% bonus damage dealt for three seconds. He has guarded, which says anytime you take skill damage, you have a 10% chance to reduce it by 20%. He also has wary on this one, which gives him 5% March speed outside of Alliance territory. He has strategic, which gives him 2% extra damage to surrounded troops deflector, which makes him take 3% less skill damage of all types, which is really good. And he has infamy, which gives him three and a half percent more attack. So really solid inscriptions here on the Sargon for sure. And I think a lot of these, they add up and really make up for the fact that some of the uh, most valuable stats here are a little bit lower, right? A lot of times you would want to have more of that health and defense rather than attack. But I honestly think these armaments are really good, especially for free to play. Now here, he's going to give us a quick overview of his resources here. So he's got a couple of gems here. A lot of these resources he's gotten uh, and saved up over time. He did use some of them in his last KVK, but he said that he had plenty more that he could have used if he really wanted to. But one of the things for free to play players is when you're looking at the rewards from KVK, you don't really have a really great incentive to go past the 30 million kill points, right? So obviously like if it makes the difference between winning and losing the KVK, like you better be fighting, right? You better be fighting. But as long as you can get the max rewards as free to play, I think that that's really good. So, you know, being a little bit conservative after that point, I think makes a lot of sense for your own accounts progression here. You could see a lot of these speed ups he has saved up from a really long time, which is really, really nice. And then he sent over some more screenshots of what's in the inventory. So we've got some equipment here. Uh, you could see a lot of the stuff we went over already. Um, we have some Epic equipment also mostly just the gathering stuff. Plus a couple of things that are on his Nevsky. I think he said he just uses Nevsky in his uh sunset and lost canyon he doesn't use nevsky at all for pvp because it's just not in the state that's usable i think it's 5111 or something like that but it looks like it's running pretty much all uh, purple gear same thing with the martel he probably uses the martel in sunset canyon i would suspect as well perhaps not really sure there and then here you could see that he has saved up an additional 579 legendary commander sculptures so this is what he's probably going to be using on the next round of infantry commanders whenever that comes out later this year and so now that we've seen inside his account let's take a look at the results that he's gotten so far so of course as i showed you guys earlier he recently broke a, a billion kills on this account which is really nice taking a look at the breakdown here he has 455 million kill points from tier 4 and 547 million kill points from tier 5. so a little bit more tier 5 kills than anything which is really nice currently rocking the viking civilization which i guess as an infantry purist i mean sure go for it looking at the more information section you could see that he's pretty much at his highest power ever at 71.8 million power 12.6 million dead troops and here we could see that in his most recent kvk his heal to kill ratio was actually really good so he mainly like i said before mainly just used gorgo liu che for like a 90% of these kills, literally one single expertise March, which is wild. And it traded on average three to one. I mean, you could, it's just the data three to one trades on average as a free to play player. That's, that's actually really good. Taking a look at his commander view page. You could see here that he is showing off all of his expertise infantry commanders. And we also can see the talent bills here. Now, what we know for sure is that he mainly uses Gorgo primary and Sargon primary. And one of the things that I noticed is that I don't know if I necessarily agree with the Sargon choice here. Now, in my opinion, 
opinion i think that you would want to grab feral nature for sargon and the reason for that is because a lot of times in these big open field fights you want the highest probability or chance to cast your active skill first right especially with sargon you want to get that damage over time started as soon as you possibly can and so i would probably come up here and grab feral nature additionally i would probably grab fleet of foot as well because if i remember correctly he has the four piece set bonus on gorgo which means he's not getting any march speed from his equipment on his sargon sepio which does have more march speed than the gorgo luce by default but i think the fleet of foot here probably would make a, a lot more sense for example this is my talent build on on Sargon of course grab feral nature grab fleet of foot grab the one percent health here and then the six percent health here and you still gain the two percent defense right here just because you have points left over why not you grab the double headed axe as well that's just my opinion you guys can let me know I could be wrong let me know in the comment section below if I'm wrong about that now I also just want to point out that since he's not in kvk right now it's possible that his talents could be changed to optimize what he feels is important for sunset Canyon which is why maybe he didn't grab fleet of foot here or something like that I'm not sure I still think you would probably want clarity for sunset Canyon but regardless moving on to his Gorgo talent build this one is pretty good um he grabs to pseudo formation medicinal supplies and loose formation all those perfectly make sense here he grabs hold the line which is great only a single point and strong of body but he does grab all of the March speed over here on the right I think that this build works well and of course his results I mean obviously he's gotten tons of kills with it so if this is what he's using amazing that that's perfect it just seems like grabbing medicinal supplies is really expensive when you think about he's trading four five percent of infantry health 2% infantry attack, 1% infantry defense, but on the way there, you get one and a half percent health and 1% attack. So really, I don't know. Honestly, I think we're kind of splitting hairs at this point. I think his talent build is really solid. I think of course, hold the line and to pseudo formation are some of the most important here. Plus the March speed, because with Liu Che having the bonus basic attacks, you actually are going to pop your testudo formation and your hold the line a little bit more frequently than you would normally with any other commander. So both of those talents are really important. And I think the reason that he chose medicinal supplies is probably because the rage requirement for Gorgo is lower and if she swarmed you're going to gain rage a lot faster and so you're probably going to be popping those active skills pretty often which is going to give you a lot of healing in the field so you know what I think he actually might be onto something here this is probably the best build that I could think of but I am curious to know how it would perform if he had a little bit more stats over here taking a look at his Liu Che talents uh, I know that he doesn't use Liu Che primary so this doesn't really matter that much but I would definitely recommend grabbing fight to the death and of course the extra March speed over here I think is super important for infantry and for Scipio I think a similar thing here you technically only need two points in rejuvenate for the support tree and I would recommend fleet of foot over the snare of thorns for sure and nobody's using Alex primary trust me oh looking at the album look at that 1.2 million oryx from this was in November of 2022 that's so funny that's an insane amount from season six. Oh my god anyway guys if you made it this far in the video I hope you'll drop a thumbs up on it it really helps out the channel a ton it'll help get this video out into the YouTube algorithm so other rise of kingdoms players might see it huge shout out to wout gaming and thank you so much for letting me show off your really impressive free-to-play account here in rise of kingdoms and of course like I said at the beginning of the video his YouTube channel will be linked at the top of the description here please make sure to go over and subscribe to him drop him a like on some of his videos and let him know what you think of his account because well I'm sure if you're free to play you know that having an account like this is really hard while you're down there consider subscribing to my channel as well and click the bell to be notified the next time I upload a rise of kingdoms video and let me know in the comments section below what other free to play players should I discuss here on the channel do you know of a really powerful free to play player that deserves to have their account shown to everybody on the channel I would love to cover it in a future video so please let me know down there give me their governor ID or their name ideally both or let me know over on discord the link to my discord will be in the description below and with that being said guys thank you so much for watching this has been Omniarch I will talk to you guys again soon peace